Hello there, hello there, all of you beautiful souls. Thank you so much for being here. I do hope you're doing well in this time. So I have some messages for you. So thank you for being here. And I hope um, that these messages resonate with you and is able to help you along your journey. Thank you for being a part of the family here. Thank you for liking the video, for sharing it, and for subscribing to the channel. So this is your love reading. And... I really feel like something is up to you. It's about moving away from your past, really. Because the current energy of your love is a lot of chaos and confusion. Um, maybe not moving away from your past energy here, you know. Um, maybe a connection that you were entangled with. Could be a marriage here, strongly. Maybe not formal marriage, but a strong alignment. Maybe it was just because... You know, you were intimate with a person, you got sexually, energetically entangled. You gave your heart and your emotions to this connection. I feel like both of you went before this person and you did, you vowed, either before a physical person or before the spirits, you really connected, like you wed each other, your, your, your energies intertwined. And so I feel like that is keeping you stuck, if, especially when it comes to work. So for those of you who are in a relationship and you're having um, issues in your relationship, like arguments, even in your family, what's going on, I hear some of you are dealing with in-laws as well when it comes to money and work, as if you are trying to move forward, but this entanglement or this spouse or your partner, this emotional um, situation is really um, maybe keeping you stuck a bit. It's almost like there's a film playing over and over in your head honestly it feels like a card a memory a past a past memory card or something that is stuck in your brain and it really affects your going forward you're going after your vision i feel like you do have a great vision which you want to chase forward i don't know if you want to go alone or if you're trying to you know move separate from this person you're connected with energetically but there's something about this dream that you want to chase you want to put yourself out there but it's as if you're, you're, you're spiritually dreaming, but, but physically, or either any which way, you're not moving forward <clears throat> as much as you want to. So better news coming ahead for you because there are so, much, so many different powerful cards on this table for you. The sun energy. So this is the energy you're coming in. Um, so whatever you were caught up in, I feel like you're going to move away from it. And it's almost like you're moving away from it and seeing it has changed because um you're changing your perspective on the past it's as if you know i really feel like the past has changed and you're moving past happy days even though it maybe has hasn't been but because of your future what you're looking forward i feel like the past also has prepared you for what is to come which is abundant success in, in your in, in maybe a new beginning in marriage or whatever venture you're going out on maybe going toward your vision you know so whatever if you wanted freedom I feel like you're really just gonna have success in whatever you wanted release um, to let go of your past I feel if you're dealing with some kind of confusion you're gonna disconnect from that you're gonna figure out how to release what is what the 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 inter, the emotional connection that has been holding you back from really going after what it is that you want? You're gonna find the strength. See, we're coming into the strength power here, which also aligns with the sun card, which is an outcome as well. I feel like you're gonna be investing your time and energy in your mind, in your heart, and in your stability, and that is financially and when <clears throat> financially, spiritually. You want to be stable and grounded. You want to be balanced, being a well-being, grounded. You know, because at one point I feel like you're feeling in and out, in and out. You know? Like hot and cold energy. And that's not, I don't feel like that's a, that's, a, that's a healthy place to be. And so I feel like you're investing in your well-being, in your heart space, in your gifts, and in your mind your entire well-being and this is how you're coming on powerfully as a strength i feel like you're learning now as it is you're studying your emotions and the situation that you are attached to especially having to do with the past emotions your past situation your past um marriage 
and and I feel even way down into the past, down into your childhood, okay, that you're really looking into at this point now. As the Queen of Cups, you're feeling it. Maybe you're remembering something, you're reflecting upon something that happened in the past. I'm getting the energy of a falcon. That is the energy of, or a phantom. It's the energy of the sadness that still lurks in you that keeps you from moving forward. It's either a, fal a falcon or a phantom. And it just, it really feels like a film or a memory card. You know, that is just hiding somewhere lurking. You know, like you want to chase your vision, but there's this feeling or this dark phantom energy. It's a falcon. It's, it hides itself beneath a mass kind of energy. You know, it hides in the shadows of you. I feel like that's what you're figuring out. And you're going to get this release, like I say. Because I feel like you're going to take it to the spirits. You know, if you get what I mean, emotionally. All right, so someone did come around in your life. I feel like, you know, they gave something to you. I feel like they, but it was to take away from you. You know, I don't want to belittle the situation that you were in, but it feels like this person is a merchant or this is how they deal. They come around and say they're going to sell you something or they have something to give to you, but it's like they are a trickster or they're doing sleight of hand. Because it's like they're give they're, they're they're saying they're giving to you, giving to you. Maybe this person's giving you money, but at the same time they're taking your energy. You understand? And then they leave. It's like they come, they pretend that they were giving you money all the time. They were taking away from you, and then they leave, and you realize like some things are missing from my house. You know, like you're wondering what's happening with this energy. How can you? And I feel like you are manifesting a lot right now of well-being around you but there is still a some space in you that is holding on to a past feeling okay and i feel like this person showed a lot of red flags to you too but maybe you didn't pay a lot of attention to them you saved them up because I also feel like you became so much stronger through this experience. You know, I feel like this person was breadcrumbing you. Like they were giving. It's almost like this person was taking from your energy. Like they had you in a trance. You could see all the red flags. You could feel like they were supporting you somewhat, some shape or form. I feel like this person was giving to someone completely different. Or it could be another aspect of yourself that you feel like they were t giving more attention to. And maybe not giving you enough emotional attention. But to me, I feel like this person had one person under a trance over here. Because you can see this person look more pauperized than this one. So maybe this other person's hair was falling out. But like there was a lot of breadcrumbing situation here. You know what I mean? They were taking and giving to this person. They could have been married mm -hmm. to another person. That's where the trio swords come in. Like maybe this person had you involved in a third party situation where they were married to the person that they were taking your energy from to give to. to, to. But why did they have you in a trance? I feel like they just needed you for your em for your emotions, even though they weren't connecting with you emotionally. Do you get that? Like they were inflaming you. This person was gaslighting you. This person was, I feel, like inflaming a lot of your emotions. Mm -hmm. That's why you ended up with the three of swords. Like you were left with a broken heart. I feel like we could talk more about this person. But let's just see where you end up is the strength. <coughs> which is a powerful place to be. Which feels like you are a magician. This person is acting like they were the magician. But it turns out that you are the magician. The Queen of Cups is <clears throat> the magician. 
it's almost as if I'm getting a red I'm going back in time past the situation to present whatever that means but this is the time that you're in this is the time that you've come to you are now the strength energy more emotionally aware more discerning more intuitive you're an alchemist I feel like this person came into your life for a very powerful reason like they were a switch whatever magic they were using on your spell or whatever this was it really sort of feel like it it really affected your nerves For some way maybe you had a nervous breakdown but you did not die because what didn't kill you make you stronger and I'm getting the eye of the tiger a vibration even though this is a lion and the sun is here for you I am not saying that what this person did was just or fear or right but I do feel like this person was tampering with energies yours and that sort of allowed you to have a, you know like when um some some <clears throat> Some um you know, cancer. I feel like this person you were at home because you know cancer and are normally at home. So I feel like this person had you at home and they had this person in the street. The thing about it though, how I feel it's like I see this has empowered you because it shows your true strength and it has a lot to do with your the power of the love that surrounds you that you are even as the queen of cups he this person thought he could have fooled you to believing that you needed to rely upon him or her for anything but it is all you look you're all queen of cups and so I feel like it's almost like you've become more empowered in self more self-aware more aware of your true powers and your gifts even through an oppressing sad time because I don't want to leave that out because the three of swords is here but it's like so beautiful because through all of that you're still the queen of cups and the strength and the sun and then there were chaos but what is to come is movement forward but it's like where it's up to you you determine that how you move forward like how do you move from the past I said the king of swords is here and the ace and the justice so, you know how do you decide to move forward and I think you do so powerfully mm -hmm. I feel that what was taken from you will be restored I feel like when you decide justice will intervene because you really have to disassociate yourself with what was exploiting you or taking advantage or mistreating you you have to let what was right be known you know stand up for your rights so if you're still associating you know what does that say about you and what justice is to be served so in this moment <clears throat> i feel like think about your well-being and take the actions that are going to bring in more healing and well-being for you and speak the truth and let it be clear let it resonate because I feel like the tables are about to turn you know what I feel like this person they will be hearing about you as you rise up you will be outstanding for some reason for some some gift your true powers 
all right so much love um thank you for coming through um remember if the messages inspire you subscribe to the channel like the video and i'll see you again in the next one remember that until then take care walk good eat well you're all and all is within you bye